Joining us now is the top Democrat on the Judiciary Committee, Gerald Nadler. Congressman, thank you very much for being here. Pleasure. Um, are you confident in the final statement there that I just played you, um, that there's nothing that the Republicans are doing right now in Congress that could result in the end of the special counsel's investigation? Well, I don't think they will do anything uh, that... I don't think they will dare ultimately do anything that will result in the end of the special counsel's investigation. To do that, uh, well, the, the members of Congress can't. The administration would have to fire Rosenstein uh, and put in someone who would then either uh, uh, fire Mueller or, or, or constrain the investigation in improper ways. That they could do. I would hope the political pressure would be, would, and it would be too much for them to do it. The members of the House cannot do that. They can simply demand information, which they know the uh, Justice Department cannot possibly hand over. It's uh, uh, because it's relating to an ongoing criminal investigation. It's a scoping documents. Uh, they know that if, if they have already gotten some documents that they shouldn't have gotten, uh, that's appeared on Fox News. It's become the it, it's gone to the administration, and uh, they've outed the identity of some uh, FBI informants, which is highly dangerous. This they should not do, and. The Department of Justice cannot aid, in, aid them in doing. Is it clear to you that the reason they're asking for the documents that they are asking for is because they want to use them to generate bad press around the investigation? Or is it that they're looking for things that the president could conceivably use or other people involved in the investigation could conceivably use to try to defend themselves? I don't think they really believe they're going to get this kind of th this information. Hmm. The Justice Department can't possibly give it to them. They know that. We had a letter today, which I introduced in, 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 into the record, uh, from the Deputy Attorney General back in 2000 to the then Chairman of the Rules Committee saying why they couldn't give precisely the same kind of information and the reasons why. Uh, so I believe that what they're doing is uh, just uh, uh, trying to lay the groundwork to defame the uh, special counsel, to defame uh, Rosenstein, and to, uh, to prepare the way so that uh, when the special counsel uh, uh, finally comes up with his uh, recommendations or his report, whatever that, that is, they can say, uh, we told you it was a witch hunt, we told you it's dishonest, and disregard it. I think they're just trying to... Uh, uh, sabotage the investigation uh, now. And if, uh, by some miracle, they can get some of this information, uh, I shouldn't say by some miracle, but if they should get some of this information, it's clear how they'll use it. They've already used the information. They gave it to the administration. Uh, Mayor Giuliani has told us that they would do that. And, uh, uh, and, 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 and they could use it to, to harm people. Watching that hearing today with multiple Republican members of Congress um, really cutting loose in terms of the way they went after the FBI and the Justice Department, the Deputy Attorney General in particular, who of course oversees the Mueller investigation, I felt like there was something that I wasn't getting about what um, why they're at such a fever pitch right now. Obviously, they've been critical of the special counsel's investigation on sort of a steadily increasing crescendo, but it, it feels like something's broken. It feels like something has caused them to take this to really another level. Is that just a perception, or do, do you think there is something new going on? I don't know of anything new going on. I think it's just the next step. I think it's, it is, as you put it, a, a steadily rising crescendo. Um, and they're just ramping it up and ramping it up. And the president is, is pushing this, you know, it's a witch hunt, et cetera. And I think they're trying to use it. I mean, they, they came out right and said it today. They've been saying, you know, it's time to shut it down. It's gone on long enough. It's gone on too long. I asked uh, uh, Deputy uh, A.G. Rosenstein, has it gone on too long? He said, no, for this type of an investigation, uh, it, they're, they're going as fast as possible. It's a reasonable time period. In, in a year, they've already gotten 20 indictments, five guilty pleas, and they're going as rapidly as possible. And you look at other investigations of, uh, of this magnitude and this complexity have gone on a lot longer. The pressure from the Republicans right now, you feel like, is being met by the Justice Department and the FBI protecting the special counsel? I think, yes, it is. I, I think that uh, Rosenstein and, and Ray, especially Rosenstein, have bent over backwards and given them a lot of information that you normally wouldn't give them. Uh, and they're, they're, they're demanding millions of documents. I think they've turned over thousands. I don't know how many thousands. But they're, they're doing everything they can, uh, but they're not going to bend uh, uh, beyond a certain point, which they cannot to defend the integrity, the, to defend the integrity of the investigation. Congressman Gerald Nadler is the top Democrat on the Judiciary Committee, critical post. Thank you for being here. Nice to see you. Thank you. Thank you. All right.